essentially looking to help you improve your credit score and improve your company's credit score. Hi everyone, it's Tina with Picture It Personal Finance. I help coaches and consultants and other small business owners get their money life in order so that they can feel true financial well-being both at home and in their business. Today, I want to speak about a topic that I learned about just last fall for the first time. As you guys know, I am a relatively debt averse person. However, I feel like there are some opportunities when used with wisdom, you can take on debt and use that to further your financial goals. So in other words, I look at different types of debt, including credit cards, as financial tools that could be in your toolbox and very likely may need to be in your toolbox to make some big plays in your business. Now, that being said, I will also caveat to say that I personally run a debt-free business and I have never taken out debt for my company and my company has experienced consistent growth. However, I have worked with some clients where debt has been a great element of their financial toolbox. And in particular, I learned about a type of debt called microfinancing or micro lending. Now, this is a type of debt that is non-traditional. So in other words, you wouldn't ordinarily get this from a bank. And it's also not one that is tied to credit cards. Today, if somebody needs to say, purchase a $5,000 lawnmower for their landscaping business, or um, as one client previously did, purchase a mobile bar for $15,000. If your credit score is in not great shape, you might be tempted to borrow that money from friends and family, which can be a bit of a hassle and have some relational impacts, or you may be tempted to just put it on a credit card. Many credit cards today are operating at 24 to 30%, so this can be a very damaging decision, especially if that item that you're purchasing can't immediately be turned around into making profit for your business. So what other alternatives do you have? Frankly, this is where I think a lot of small business owners just throw up their hands and say, ah, that's it. I don't have an option here. Well, when I went to a conference this past fall, I realized there is another option that I don't believe very many people know about. And this is the option of micro lending. Now, micro lending is typically going to provide to somewhere between 13,000 and up to, up to $50,000 worth of financing. And it is geared toward people who do not have a great credit score. And so they are ultimately going to say, hey, we will give you an option for loans or for financing that is not going to be as good of rates that you might receive from a traditional bank, but it won't be as bad of rates as you would see from a credit card. In other words, they sort of like create a middle ground for you. Most of the loans are around $13,000 or less. So you wouldn't expect for this to be something that could permit you to say finance a vehicle, like a work truck for your um, landscaping business or your service-based business where you're trying to scale by growing a bigger team, right? You are ultimately going to have to consider this as more like a startup capital for smaller ventures that then you can take profits from your purchase that you're using the debt for to grow your business revenue in some way. This would be a great spot for me to mention that I have a prior video on what my rules are for taking out business debt because I think those would apply in this circumstance as well. So for example, a bad use of micro lending funds would be to take out debt to pay yourself to start your business, right? You don't wanna do that. You wanna take out debt to acquire something that can produce money for your company. So what are some of the things that a micro lender is going to care about? Well, they're gonna care about what is your business plan? Now, they are not gonna require you to have an MBA and have a you know, 20 page business plan like some executive might expect, but rather they're gonna to want to know, okay, what exactly are you going to do? Who are you going to do it for? How will you make money on this? And what evidence do you have that other people have made money doing these things? That's gonna be your business plan. Very cut and dry, but it should be thought out and it should be typed up. And heck, if you're really, really feeling snazzy, stick it in a PowerPoint and blow their socks off. They're also going to want to know how you'll be using the money specifically that they are going to give to you and how you believe that spend or that purchase or that use is going to result in your business growing or making money, which ultimately leads them to wanting to know how you plan to pay them back. And then lastly, if at all possible, they are going to want 
collateral. So if you can't pay them back, how will they know that they're protected? So for some people, this might mean putting up a company vehicle as collateral or putting up a personal vehicle as collateral. Um, I'm not entirely sure what qualifies as collateral, but I think you guys get the idea of what they would be looking for. They want to know how can they protect themselves and therefore you're not just gonna take the money and run. And then lastly, if possible, they're going to want a copy of your profit and loss. So if you've been in business for a little while, what evidence do you have that you're currently profitable that then can support your justification on that business plan that yes, you can make money doing this and you will continue to make money doing this. And heck, with this money, with this financing, you'll be able to grow your ability to make money all the more quickly. The really great thing about micro lending that I learned is that many of these organizations are angel investors or nonprofits. They're not really looking to make money off of you. They're essentially looking to help you improve your credit score and improve your company's credit score so that you can eventually refinance that debt if you don't pay it off quickly enough refinance that debt into some kind of a bank loan where you will get a lower interest rate. To find out more about how you can locate a micro lender in your area, you can go to the Sm Small Business Administration for your region. The micro lenders that were participating in the presentation that I attended are part of a collective, but they cannot help you. Like the ones that were here for the counties that I live in, in Missouri, could not say help somebody in Texas. But I do have a former client in Texas who was interested in this idea, and I was able to identify some micro lending organizations for that person. So it's not difficult to find them if you know where to look. And I absolutely encourage you to start by looking at your small administration, small business administration office. Okay, guys. That's what I have to share with you on micro lending. I hope you find this information useful. And again, be sure to watch my video on my rules for business debt, because just because debt is accessible to you doesn't mean that it really will serve you to take it out. I hope you all are having a profitable month and season, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.